Hi, Eric. Um, we've seen pictures this week of Rasmus Hoyland and Mason Mount in training. Um, will they be fit to start at Crystal Palace? Uh, it's very good news. They're back on the pitch. They're back in team training. And yeah, we have to decide uh, whether they are fit enough to start. Um, but I think it's very pleasing. We are back, back with the squad. Uh, we have so many games also uh, in this block to cover. Yeah, so very happy. Back involved. Do you think they will be involved in any capacity? Do you think they'll... we have to make the final call? And they did a couple of training. We have to see how they recover, and then tomorrow we will make a final call. Um, the last time you went to Crystal Palace, Eric, it didn't end particularly well. It's not that long ago. What lessons do you think you as a management team and the players have learned from that experience? Not in particular. We know what will come through us. We know it will be, it's always tough there, it's always aggressive there. But we know also the circumstances and you can't compare this. And we had, we didn't have a, a fit squad. We had even one, two players, they were maybe up to 20% to play. But we had to play him, and this time is totally different. We have now a fit squad of we have definitely uh, 18 players who are capable and to go into uh, this this good challenge for us. So it's not the kind of experience you keep at the back of your mind to think <laughs> no. that's never going to happen again to me. No, definitely not. And it um, it was clear. It was a 4-0, uh, totally deserved. But Saturday will be different. Eric, how much joy does it give you to see Marcus Rashford back as he's threatening self, full of confidence, trying to take on markers and obviously getting the goals then as a reward? That's very good, <laughs> of course. And that your striker, and that they starting to score when the season is very young. Um, strikers, they need that belief. And yeah, we have now a couple of players who are in, um, in the meanwhile on the scoring list. And that is very good for a team because that will strengthen their belief and they will call for more and they will call more goals now. Sure. Um, Eric, um, you mentioned about Hoyland and Mount. And in their time at United, they, they both had a few injuries. How, how, how much do they need a run, a run of, of fitness, really? And, and therefore, you've got to be a little bit careful. Yeah, careful in top football. Eh? You always go to boundaries. So it's, it's not avoidable. But when you have a full squad available, then it's uh, more easy to manage the load. And when you are in circumstances like last season, and there is a need to play, and then also you have to overload them. So uh, we hope we can integrate them in, uh, in a very careful way. Since that, sorry, since the game we were talking about at Crystal Palace in May, I just wonder how much progress do you feel has been made with the squad overall and the team, how different will this United be to the one that ran out at Sellers Park in May? Yeah, maybe you can also compare it with the FA Cup final. I, I don't compare it. And because the circumstances in that moment in the season, I would say from February on, we almost, um, we had to, every time to find 11 players who can construct a team. And now we are in a different place. We have um, 18 players and we can pick a team. Mickey. Eric, there was a lot of talk of Anthony before the game on Tuesday. Is that the, the reaction that you wanted from, from him to see the way he performed? I think every player should um, give those reactions. Uh, you uh, have to train hard, you have to uh, perform in training, you have to earn the right to play. And when the moment is your chance, uh, you have to, to take him, but yeah, the manager can only pick 11 players and then I can make five subs. So make sure you are under, under those 16 players for every game and you do it by, yeah, a, on a consistent base, perform in training. And of course, that's the most important when the chance uh, is there, you have to perform in a game and you have to contribute to a winning team.